Today we're going to do a product review, uh, the Sioux Electra uh, ST2. Welcome to Paddle Smash Academy. And we are all things paddle. So let's talk a little bit about the details and the specs. So how much does it say it weighs in, uh, Julian? Okay, so the specs are uh, 355 through 375. Uh, the actual weight is 383 with one grip when you put one extra uh, grip on top of it. It's a 15K carbon and also it's hybrid design. So that means that it's fiberglass and carbon. Um, they also have two different options, the 15K and the 12K, which means that the higher the, the carbon, the, it's a little bit stiffer. The lower, you know, the 12 is going to be a little bit more flexible than, than the 15. Uh, the, EV, the EVA, which is the, the foam inside, is going to be medium to soft, which gives you that extra smooth feeling every time you hit the, the, the shot. And, and it's, it's a pretty mean, mean balance. Yeah, yeah. For me, it was a little bit, you know, head heavier. Right. How so, about you? So when they, when they talk about hybrid, um, it kind of, it mixes like the, the round uh, paddle uh, versus like the teardrop. And uh, so you can you can kind of get like a, for me, I felt like a, a, a middle balance, which is kind of more more round uh, versus more of a top heavy. Um, but this also weighs at 383, which is a little little heavy. Um, yes. I mean, the grip is about five grams. So at the end of the day, this probably weighs 378. Uh, which is kind of towards uh, the high uh, higher grams uh, of what they have advertised, 355 to 375. Let's see how this feels at the baseline. I truly like the feel of this racket. The sweet bow is great. Uh, and the heaviness of the head uh, gives you that extra hump on the, on, on the shots and you get quite a lot of power. And the soft, softness of the foam gives you that extra smooth you know, hit every time you, you strike the ball. I truly like this this uh, this racket from the baseline. How about you, sis? From the baseline, it was fine. It wasn't as as uh, it didn't come out as fast as I would like it to, but it definitely slowed it down and had a little bit. I felt like I had a little more control, so I, I did like it, but I didn't get a lot of power from it. So how about at uh, off the back wall? Back wall was truly fantastic uh, for me. Baseline back wall, you know, before the wall, I really really like this racket. Uh, never played with this before. And the feeling was great, and I really feel uh, I, I see myself playing with this paddle, uh, with this racket, certainly. Uh, for myself, that back wall is, I think, where it kind of uh, performed best. Um, I felt like I had good control coming off that back wall. Uh, I really liked it off that back wall. Uh, all right, so let's let's see how it works uh, with our volleys. Uh, for me, at the net, because of the head heaviness, it was a little bit hard to control. But every time you strike that ball right on the sweet spot, that ball will go and you will f you will feel like you, you can put pressure on your shots every time you hit it. Uh, honestly, for me, it's a bit heavy, head heavier on, on the net when you have to handle it, the, the ball side to side. You know, when you have to hit, for, uh, hit forehands and backhands or high volleys, forehands and backhands, uh, you know, on a quick on a quick pace. Uh, for myself, at the vo at, at the volley, I felt like um, the ball didn't come out fast enough. Uh, I felt like I had good control there, but I felt it just didn't come out fast enough. I just felt like I needed a little bit more more power. Um, how, how about the aerials? How about for your aerial shots? Uh, the few the few uh, bandejas that I tried, great feeling. The thing that really impressed me, and I will give great credit to this paddle because of the head heaviness. Uh, hitting the, the, you know, the by threes, uh, it will never hit so many by threes with, 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 with other, any other racket. So it was really, really wow. easy to hit that shot by three because of the head heaviness and the roughness of, of the, of the face that ball will get that kick on that shot and then you will get it by three quite easily compared to other paddles right uh for myself i kind of felt the same way i felt like i, I could have used a little bit more power with my aerial shots i did feel like when i wanted to get that kick or even do a, a rulo um i felt like i was able to grab a little bit more and i think it has to do with a little bit of the texture that this has it feels like a sandpaper yes. in here so um that part i i I felt like uh, it, it worked really well yeah. in, in that aspect. Honestly, I mean, the great, great, great frame. I love right. it. All right. Uh, so overall, what did you think about the paddle? Um, I will give it a rating on of 9.25. 
Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Very, wow. very. I mean, I will see. I see myself playing with this paddle, and that's why it gives such a high rating, nine point two five. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, wow. We really like this paddle. Yes. Huh? Do you I like really it better it. than than the Bella? Yeah. Honestly, I like better my my personal paddle is the Bella Elite, but this one gives you that extra that extra pop on the on the balls and i really liked it okay so for me i also i also like this paddle um but i had to play a diff different way I, I couldn't be as aggressive like you know especially uh at, at with my vivoras or my volleys but uh, i like the back wall I, li I like the control it did slow down my game i think uh i like the the balance in the middle, even though I'm used to balance on, on the top teardrop, I did like that balance in the middle uh, and how it was kind of hybrid. It's not totally round, but it did get that good balance in, in the middle. So this is a, a great racket for generally anybody. And I would have to say this is a good solid eight for, for me, you know. 8.0? Yes. Yes, good. yes, yes. Now, um, I got to tell you, I got this from Casa Paddle. Um, they they have remarkable uh, prices on on all of the paddles, and they have all the paddles there over at Miramar and Open Paddle. Uh, you can go down there and rent this thing for fifteen dollars a day and try it out during the day. There's nobody there. Try this paddle out and, and all the other paddles that they have. Uh, and if you like it, you know you could purchase it from there. They have the best prices. And remember, please use our coupon down here, and you'll get an extra ten percent. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And remember, it's free ninety nine. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in to Paddle Smash Academy. We hope you'll find our videos informative, helpful in improving your game and learning all things paddle. So until next time, keep improving your game, and remember, learn, play, and share.